Okay, so it's the day of the meet and you want to run the meet and you have to put all your entries in. So you have to add a relay and the athletes. So if you take a look over here, it kind of gives you a checklist. You gotta do meet setup, events, sessions, records, records, time, standards. You, you don't need to really do any of those things for a dual meet, but you just wanna make sure that you have meet set up. Okay, so before I did schools, and as I said, because we're running a dual meet, you wanna make like visitors, you wanna make a fake team. And then we already have our Palm Desert and we have all of our athletes um, pulled in. So we're gonna close this. And under athletes here, I created, if we come up here to the teams and you go to visitors, you can see that I created a bunch of fake entries. Um, so you can go to male. I think I did one through 15. And if you do female, I think it's, um, uh, I guess 15 through 30. So you need to create athletes in order to get times for the lanes. If there's nobody swimming in the lane, then you don't have to add somebody. But if the visitors want a printout, they're not going to have their names, but at least they'll have a printout. Okay. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna close out. You're gonna to go to run meet right here. So it's loading up. So we already have all our events that we've put in before. And now we, as you can see here, you need to make a relay. So um, the way that you make a relay is you come up here where it says relays And it pops up and right now we have no entries so you're going to over here choose the team and just double click on it and then it'll create a and then you double click on it create the B and double click on it create the C okay so now we have three relays don't worry about the entry time or anything like that because it's a dual meet. So now come back to our visitors and double click and it creates an A, double click, and it gives you a B and double click and it gives you a C. Okay, so I'm going to assume that we are swimming in the odd lanes, which would be one, three, and five. So I'm gonna to go to Palm Desert and I'm gonna type in a one. Oops. Okay, I gotta to go to cap lock, I think. Yeah, number, number lock. Okay, so I type in one, then I do um, the dash or the slash and my fastest guys are gonna swim in the middle, so I'm gonna put three. Then you click here you do the same thing. I'm gonna put these guys in lane five. Lane one, I'm gonna put these guys lane four. Lane, my fat, next fast is going lane two and lane six. Okay, so we're gonna assume that those are the lanes that we're swimming in. So now, the other thing you can do is, um, let's say for instance, you know who's swimming in Palm Desert. You, you go over here and it'll give you a list of your girls and you just double click. And then you see that they all, all their names pop up. So I'm going to close out and I'm gonna to go to run. Oops, close out one more time. Oh. Actually, we're already in run. So now you could see that all the relays popped up and they're in the right lanes that we wanted them in. So lane one, lane two, lane three, lane four, because when I set up the relays before, I told them what lanes I wanted them to be on. And this is where you need to enter it so you know what lanes 
they're in. It's a little bit different for individuals because so you can come here and you double click on the, okay, and now you can do F8 adjust and you could see you could just drag them in. So I'm going to put her in one and three and lane five. Okay. And then we close out or actually let, let's do save, save. Okay. So now if you look, when you click right here, they're already in their lanes. So if you click here on the 200 free, you can see there's nobody in because I haven't made any entries. So, so it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You just kind of go to highlight what you want, which event you want, then click adjust F8, and then all of your, your eligible swimmers will come up. They're down here. So this is like for visitors. This is for everybody. So you can just like, if you just want to sort visitors, you can. And then it's the same thing. Just drag and click, drag and click. Okay. Oh, let's make sure to save. That's, that's important. Um, data has changed and has not been saved. Save now. Yes. Okay. So again, and also you can see like the ones that are, um, highlighted means that there's some, that you've entered somebody in that event, um, here entered somebody in. 